thank you for shopping Ujamaa, my sister. When you support the co-op, you support the community. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thanks for shopping in Ujamaa. When you support the damn co-op, you support the damn community. Now you can support me by putting some money in my damn tip cup. <laughs> And take a damn membership form. <laughs> hey, Joni. Dee, sweet. Just finished my last minute party shopping. Girl, we're gonna be getting down tonight. What time are you gonna be coming? Because I'm gonna need you to help me set up. Oh, sweet. All I wanna do is go home, pull the covers over my head, and sleep for a week. Joni, I got a lot of fine black men coming to my house tonight. Your friend Dr. Ray is gonna be there. You're gonna have to do better than that. Better than a hundred thousand a year? Excuse me, Miss Grocery Clerk. Where's Bobby? I want my money. You know, you ought to just get a T-shirt that says, I want my money. Here. That is, if you will accept a check from Bobby's girl. As long as it doesn't bounce, I will. What is your problem? Hey, I got no problem. I just don't like being jacked around. I just like to take care of my business and move on. Well, don't let me stop. I'll unload your merchandise in the back. You need a hand? Show is fine, though. Pain in the ass. Well, look, what time you coming? Don't make me beg you. Don't give me no excuses about the kids, because they invited you. All right, OK, OK. I'll come if you promise to leave me alone and let me do my thing. Oh, Joni, if I let you do that, the next date you would have would be with a man laying in the plot next to you. <laughs> you pie queen. Yeah, Nicole, I can't wait to get with you tonight. So what time are we looking up at the highlight? What? A study group. Now, what kind of study group meets on a Friday night? No, wait, 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 wait. You the one who wants to hook up with me tonight. She trying to play you like NBA jams. If I was you, I'd fire her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, Nicole. Now, come on. You know you ain't gonna be cracking no books tonight. Why are you trying to play me? Hello? T Tasha, get off the phone. You get off. I need to use it. Hey, I get off when I feel like it. Now get off. Look, maybe your lazy butt ain't got nothing better to do but beg, but I got a babysitting job to check on. So take some of that big time money you make it in and stick it in a payphone on the corner. <laughs> Hello, Nicole? No, sorry. No, no, Nicole, come on, please, don't hang up, don't hang Yeah, 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 right, fine. You know, Tosh, you overdue for a serious beatdown. Well, bring it on! Oh, it's on! <laughs> Hey, man, your mama drunk again. Shut up, man. Hey, honey, come here. Show me a new dance. What's that new thing y'all been doing? The buttermilk? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, you talking about the butterfly. Let me try to break it off. Something like this. Uh, yeah. Hey, you know I can hit it, Shy. Miss Finney, I babysit tonight. Yeah, Ma, and I promise y'all I'll roll over to the highlight with him. Oh, come on, honey. Oh. It'll be fun. Hang with your mama. Come oh, on, Ma, just gonna be a bunch of y'all old folks over there playing cars, sipping gin and juice, screaming, show us the electric slide, sugar. <laughs> no, no, Ma, I ain't with that. Hey, so won't you just go ahead and have some fun for a change, Ma? Oh, shoot, I go with your mama, Mosey. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I guess it's just gonna be you and me, sugar, huh? Come on, dance with me. Ooh, yeah! Six-pack and I'm ready for Freddy. <laughs> That's a three-pack and I didn't 
and invite you off, Freddy. Well, can't a man even get himself a plate of food? Huh? Go on, get it then. <laughs> Come on now, Joan. You've been playing solitaire all night long. When are you gonna get out there and start dancing? Mm -hmm. I am just fine. I didn't come here to hug up on no man all night. Well, when was the last time you did hug up on a man, Joan? Uh-uh, Dee Dee, now you wrong. Joan's sex life is a very personal thing. But since we talking, when was the last time, Joan? <laughs> It's been five years as worrying the hell out of me. Five years? Sweet, you got to be kidding. Joan, tell me she's kidding. Hey, I don't have no problem with it. I don't even think about it anymore. <laughs> ah, now I know you're lying. Hey, lighten up on that, Joan. I ain't had sex in eight years myself. Eight years? Lord, so your poor wife ain't had sex in eight years? No, she ain't had it in three. <laughs> this out there for me. And don't talk to nobody. <laughs> Joan, listen. I'm going to introduce you to my cousin. Now, he may not have a job, but he's good people. Milo, you listen. Any man that wants to be with me mm -hmm. needs a J-O-B. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joan. Joan. They're about to play my favorite jazz. All right. I'll be right there in a minute, Ray. Al Green's Love and Happiness. And I'm saving it for you. <laughs> now you see, y'all, now what about Ray? I mean, he's got a real good J-O-B, and he's crazy about you. For the last time, sweet, he doesn't do it for me. Yeah, you can't force something like that. That's right. I mean, just because the man's a doctor doesn't make him desirable. Uh, I think I left my purse unattended. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I know just where you left me. See, your problem is you still think you can find Mr. All That And then some. No, sweet. I just have enough to deal with in my life without a man to worry me. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. <laughs> you quit lying, Joni. Five years. I don't know, girl. Five years. <laughs> Excuse me, is there any more potato salad in here? No, sweet, you didn't. I'm sorry, Joan, but he was bending over, putting them boxes on the table. Come on in here, baby. Let me fix you up a plate. You know Joni, of course. Hello, Joan. Isaiah. Nice party. Mm -hmm. For a minute, I didn't recognize you with that, um, that rag thing. Scarf. <laughs> You look nice. Thank you. So do you. Listen, I'm I'm sorry if I was rude today, but I take my job real seriously, you know? Me too. Although that's just a temporary job. I'm really in school administration. Well, mine's a temporary gig, too. I'm actually a building contractor. I started doing food distribution when the economy slumped. I also manage a couple of apartment buildings on the side. Mm, well, the boy's all right now. He got three jobs. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure. It's nice to be working, you know. I was unemployed for a while before I got the job at the co-op. Well, that must have been tough. Two. <laughs> you got kids? Two. Two teenagers. Two's a good number. Actually, I have three. Uh, I took in a foster child. He was born addicted to crack, but he's really manageable. I mean, that is when he's not being difficult. I mean, sometimes he has tantrums, but you know, they say that uh. that's normal for... So the construction business is slow, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, shoot, I'm, I'm about ready for another earthquake. Another earthquake? You're not serious. Well, I know it sounds cold, but I got paid a lot of money doing repairs. Paid for a whole new roof on my house, not to mention these lizard boots. <laughs> Your house? You live alone? Yeah. Anyway, I was gl I'm glad it was good for somebody. It shook me up completely. Um, I still have cracks in, in my bedroom wall and ceilings. Well, you should have them checked. Well, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Here. 
I'll give you a good price. I know you're a hard-working sister. Nice somebody notices. <laughs> I'll, I'll check it out for you anytime. How about now? <laughs> I just live two doors down. Well, I, I'm game. <laughs> okay, Joe, look, you've had me on hold long enough, and I'm not taking no for an answer. Get her comes the One Love Tour, starring... In relationships. Because you know, if you get that man to cry in that relationship, that man's really in love with you. No. Or you got some good... Martin Lawrence live and on sensors for mature audiences only. Tickets on sale now at the Civic Arena box office. Choice seat locations are charged by phone. You're so crazy. <laughs> Uh-huh, and I don't believe you either, talking about you got a study group. I don't see nobody in there but your lying ass. Oh, who are you to be checking up on me? You ain't my daddy. Oh, look, I came to see you. Shh, will you be quiet? My parents catch me out here, I am dead. Yeah, see, you with your parents now. You think I'm some kind of gangster. Look, no, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Shh, who are you screaming at? You. You know, Rashad is right. You're just another bougie sellout, thinking you better than everybody else. And you know that hair ain't nothing but an ultra perm. Oh, what? Ultra perm? No, you ain't nothing but a disrespectful, low-life, pretty boy. And you think you look like crisscross with them tired braids. Oh, oh, see, see you what? Right now. Yo, I'm out. Oh, well, you better jump, jump. Don't miss your last butt. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You see, you getting your clown on, but that's all right. I'm yeah, gone. Yeah, well, go on then. You first. I live here? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so come on out here, girl. Oh, just climb out at my window, just like that, right? Well, you said you wanted to be with me, unless you were lying again. <clears throat> All right, so come on out here before I have to come inside there. Oh. You are crazy, you know that? Mm-hmm. That's why you want. Look, Andre, I'm sorry that I backed out of our deal. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're Listen, right. it's just that when my mom saw you over at Dr. McHenry's office, she threatened not to buy me a car for my birthday. Oh, so you want a car more than you want me. Ah. Andre, it's a Jeep. <laughs> and besides, you know that my ultra firm will look fly blowing in there. Ah. <laughs> and so it's your cute little braid. Hey, what would you do if your mom popped her head out right now? I know you can see this one. It runs right along here, and it looks like an antler, see? Uh, well, maybe half an antler. <laughs> so that's your worst one. All right. I know it doesn't look like much to you, but you've probably seen some real devastation. Unfortunately, I have. The good news is I could do this work in about half a day. Really? I could also rehang this door for you. It doesn't close all the way. Oh, I forgot it could do that. Mm. <laughs> That's awfully nice of you. Well, I don't know how nice it is. I was trying to score some points here. <laughs> <laughs> Joan, you're not going to believe this, but I've been checking you out these past few weeks. Oh, please, tell me anything. See, there you go. I mean, the whole time, I've been thinking, damn, that sister is fine. If only she wasn't such a hard ass. Well, that's a front, mostly. I'm real glad you opened up to me tonight. You even brought me into your bedroom um, to 
check out your damage. I hope I haven't given you the wrong idea. No. No, you have. Well, what then? It was my daughter. She just saw she must have gotten home early from babysitting. Tasha? Tasha? Oh, she left. Where'd she go? I don't know, but I have to go find her. Don't tell me what did I do with my shoes? Pick that up, would you please? Hello? What? Well, who am I? Who, who are you? Oh, well, hold it. What do you mean it's none of my damn business? Hello? Hello? Hello, Tasha? Honey, where are you? Well, come home now. What? You ain't thinking about coming home? T Tasha, girl, you better bring your behind home this minute. She really is a very nice girl. Listen, maybe I should go. No, no, I say I don't. I, I, what? Tasha, don't you make me come to Sweets to get you, because you know I will turn that party out. Please. Mama, I want to know what that man was doing in my house. And I want to know why you came into my bedroom without knocking. I never had to knock before. Girl, you better change your tone. Yeah, now, come on, Tasha. You know nothing will get worked out unless you calm down. How do you expect me to calm down after seeing my mom in bed with some strange man? They were in bed? We were not in bed, Tasha. Enough. What's up, peoples? I called Mom in her bedroom. She was dead on top of some man. It was about to knock. You were way out of line, girl. What, 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 what? You tripping? That's what I'm trying to tell. Oh, no, it's on. Yo, where that punk at? Because I'm straight. Hey, hey, hey don't talk to your mother like that. I, I can't believe this. Ma, no, nah, no, nah, you know you can't be bringing no strange men in this house without running to past me first. And me, too. Who I bring into this house is nobody's business but mine. Your mother's absolutely right. Ma, what about my man Ray over there? I mean, he been jocking you from day one, but you just played him out like a straight sucker. <laughs> Andre, your mother didn't play Mom, like man, forget sucks. Ray. Nobody can come up in this house but my dad. Uh-uh, no. She know not to bring him up in here. Okay, stop it, both of you. This is my life. Mine. I have spent all these years putting your feelings first. Deliberately not bringing any men into this house because I didn't want you to see different men coming and going. But tonight, for the first time in years, I try to hold a decent conversation in my own house, in my own room, and I can't even do that. Y'all would like it just fine if I just dried up and never dated again. Well, it's not going to happen. Now go to your rooms. Go. I, mine ain't even like that. All we were saying... Nothing! You have nothing to say about my private life, do you hear? And don't slam my damn door! Joan, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Ray. If there's anything I can do, just give me a call anytime. You're very sweet, Ray. I'm sorry you never got to have that dance. Love and happiness. Maybe next time. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Money, do what? No, not money. <laughs> well, last night didn't end the way I hoped it would. Maybe we could reschedule. 
I'd like to. I, I really would like to, but I don't think... Hey, we don't have to have an official date. We could go one afternoon for brunch, not in your house <laughs> or anywhere near it. <laughs> Isaiah, it's hard for me to explain, but now is just not a good time for me to start something. Joan, I like to think I'm the kind of guy who could change your mind. You are. That's the problem. Okay, look, before you go there, why don't we just step back for a minute, okay? So you can take the time, whatever time you need, to figure out how you can work this out, because I'll be here, in your face, every week asking for my money i know that thanks well you have a nice day joe you too welcome to ujima when you support the co-op you support the community Thank you.